Hello to everyone and welcome to another video here with Hypnotherapy Training International. And today Dr. John Butler will talk to us about the speciality of clinical hypnotherapy, why it's important and what it can give the client. For you as a therapist, what you can offer your clients with, um, with our course of clinical hypnotherapy. So John, to you please, tell us about clinical hypnotherapy and what makes it so special and therapeutic to a client, the approach where it comes from. Tell us a little bit about Dave Elman and Gil Boyne work and, and your experience in working this for 30 years now. Clinical hypnotherapy gives you as a therapist a great ability to help people who have often complex issues that they haven't been able to get help with before. It's a very much a, a role that you play as a sounding board. Uh, the wailing wall, as we say, you're building a therapeutic relationship which they need as they are beginning then to start learning to use the power of their mind. You do marvellous things as a hypnotherapist with people. You teach them, for example, to relax. Hypnotherapy is the most powerful form of relaxation therapy. Uh, that's been shown scientifically over many years. And for many people, it's the first time ever that they've really, really relaxed. And that's a great privilege to be able to help them in that way. Uh, along with that, of course, there are the skills you're teaching them of how to use their emotions instead of being maybe dominated or even a slave to certain emotions. Uh, they can begin to activate and use their imagination in a wonderful way. A bit like we can do as, a ch as when we're children. And we're often, uh, that's ignored, it's trained out of us even. And so that's a very important part of us uh, that needs to be activated so we can form goals that are right for us. That, we have an excitement and a vision for our lives that we can imagine outcomes and then begin to stimulate our internal motivational processes through that imagination to bring it to fruition in our lives. Now, there's a huge amount of learning that you learn as a hypnotherapist, if you're a well-trained hypnotherapist, that is, where you learn about the power of the mind, the deep subconscious power of the mind, that inner power within us, that's the power that enables people to go through surgery with no anesthetic or the little old lady to lift a truck or people to change the way they've thought about life who've been in depression for years and that inner power transforms them, uh, brings them to a whole other way of looking at the world and their own potential and leaving the past behind. And past issues are a very big part of what we deal in clinical hypnotherapy. The past has influences so much at a subconscious level. That even though some people and therapists occasionally say, oh, forget the past, just forget all about it, it doesn't matter, it's over. Well, that's great if you can manage it, but it doesn't always work that way. We carry a lot of baggage of unfinished business. And with a good hypnotherapist, uh, they're able to help you revisit it, rewrite it. So you write your own scripts in life instead of being dominated by what happened from authority figures who put fixed ideas in your mind. Uh, maybe the child felt abused, neglected, uh, lacking in self-love, self-respect, and then turned out to be self-destructive in life, maybe very angry, but self-destructive at the same time. And so many problems have emerged often from the early negative scripts, how we have picked things up at the subconscious level. My mother was a worrier, and I learned to be anxious and worrying as well. If my father was an angry man or he had alcohol issues, maybe I start picking those up and either follow like a slave in his path or I react in a different way, but not always to my own best advantage. So when we talk about clinical hypnotherapy, as Dave Ellman said, the real jewel in the crown of hypnotherapy is not the amazingly effective suggestions that you can give to a person, as marvelous as that is. Because even with that, there may be so much opposition in the mind that you have to change that script. Those ideas that are in there, opposing the good programming. They've been in there for years from authority figures. And so as you learn as a hypnotherapist, it enable people to revisit the past. And we often hear that saying, uh, those who don't understand the past are condemned to repeat it. And so there's a lot of truth in that. The past is not something to be wallowed in for years in therapy talking about it. It's not to be uh, at the same time just dismissed because it's a great source of learning. Why not have all of that uh, memory and intelligence and learning you've had in your past? 
uh, which all of us have, despite what we might think. Uh, we've been through a lot. Uh, we've had our successes, failures, but there's a lot there to be taken from. And even those mistakes, so-called, are great potential learning. So we can use all of that past experience. Uh, there was a famous philosopher who said, every man has enough memory in him to be a genius, but we often can't access it properly. And often what we're remembering, we're remembering it in a very negative way, or we're only remembering the negative events as we perceive them to be. So hypnotherapy gives you power over the past, power over the way you look at the life now, and it's beginning to change it. Now, of course, all of that requires good training and real understanding of principles, of many, many methods. And we give and teach the very best methods uh, with the very best evidence to support their use. This has been used, uh, analytical hypnotherapy, the crown jewel of hypnotherapy, as Dave Ellman described it, and brought to another level with Gil Boyne's work. Uh, and it's based on some of the most intelligent people in medicine and psychology, their work over the last hundred plus years. So, and we don't restrict our methods to say, well, we only teach a cognitive approach or a cognitive behavior or a sociocognitive or a psychodynamic or psychoanalytical. No, hypnotherapy has never been academically agreed to be defined by one theory or one method. So we teach the very best range of approaches to understanding it. And in the process of helping people change, they're learning to motivate clients, learning to help them get really ready for change. Not short-term and superficial change, long-term, deep transformative change, what we call a transforming therapy. Enabling to understand ourselves in the present and in the past and avoid some of those common limitations and failures of therapy, of a, working at a mediocre level of therapy, which is common according to the research. While there's a small subset of therapists called the super shrinks who perform at a totally different level. So I hope you as a therapist or anybody else in learning about themselves and their minds will set their standards high and decide, I want to learn at a really high achieving level. I want to be able to do the very best work with clients and help them move forward and discover their power that you as a therapist have started to learn to use that great inner power we all possess so you help transform yourself and them and the world around you. So I hope you will join us for our clinical hypnotherapy course and any of the other courses that we have in our range of courses. Thank you very much for listening and watching.